Hey everyone, I'm the Realty Queen, and thanks so much for tuning in to my first ever video blog. So last week, I shared with you my current renovation project with some before photos. Well, since then, we've been working hard, and there's definitely been a lot of progress made. So right now, I'm going to share with you that progress via video. So let's go ahead and have a look. So this is my fifth renovation project in the Junction Triangle. And what you're seeing right now is the exterior of the property. Now, first impressions are everything, and buyers are no different. So the house definitely needs to have curb appeal. Unfortunately, it's winter right now, so there's not much I can do. But definitely come spring, the front is going to get a huge overhaul. Now let's go ahead and have a look inside. When I first got the keys, this is how the property looked like. Thank goodness that the main floor is mostly open concept, considering I'm on a strict $10,000 budget, so therefore there's no budget to move around any walls. Now speaking of walls, that's not yellow paint you're seeing. Unfortunately, the previous owner was a smoker for the last 50 years, and that's remnants left over on the wall. So believe me, when I walked in there first, it didn't smell pretty. But it didn't scare me also. Now unfortunately, you can't just take fresh paint and slather it onto the walls, because the stains and the odor will still come through. So what we did instead was gave it a, the walls a very, very heavy sand to try to get off as much gunk as possible. Then we took a heavy-duty primer called Kills 2, which essentially kills any stains and odors and gives you a blank canvas as you're seeing right here. Doesn't the wall, don't the walls look so much better already? Next thing we did was, of course, paint. Now, I decided to go with a pewter gray color from CIL Paint as, as, as it is my absolute favorite color and it's a color I've used in previous projects. Now, this gray is definitely modern and fresh, but it's also warm, which is absolutely amazing. Now, as I mentioned, that this project is located in the up-and-coming part of the Junction Triangle, where there's definitely lots of development happening, as well as new restaurants and cafes coming in. The first one you're seeing here is the Farmhouse Tavern, which was named Best Newly Open Restaurant by Dine To Yo. And believe me, it is delicious. Right across the street, we have this Mexican restaurant. I love Mexican, so I'm definitely dying to try it. And, of course, we have Cafe Con Liché, home to the very famous Nutella Latte. Mmm. So if you have any questions or you'd like to follow along with this project, make sure to check out my blog at RealtyQueenTO.com, follow me on Twitter at RealtyQueenTO, or check out my Facebook page at Facebook.com slash RealtyQueenToronto. And of course, last but not least, you can always subscribe to my channel. I would absolutely love that. So tune in next week for another update, and thanks so much for tuning in. Take care.